Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am coming in first. This is Frantic Fuchsia from Nao Nails. Now all the nails are going to be this same colour so I've just sped this up. So for the pinky, the ring, every finger other than the, the middle finger is just having a wash of this on because there's going to be stuff going on over the top of it. So it just needed something in the background nothing special. The middle finger is going to be a full nail of this because I'm going to be doing a bit of hand painting. <gasps> I know, I was slightly scared. Um, <laughs> so a while back I saw Trey doing a palm tree and she said to me, palm trees are really, really easy. Go on, push yourself out there, do a bit of hand painting, um, give a palm tree a go. And I was like, yeah, 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 mm, yeah no. <laughs> Yes, okay, fine, no. <laughs> and I've put it off and put it off. So today I thought I would embrace it. Uh, my first attempt at it, uh, it, it, <laughs> it was awful. It was absolutely awful. Um, honestly, it just looked like I'd sneezed the gel paint on there. I got completely confused of what the hell a palm tree actually looks like. Um, <laughs> so the one I have left in is my second attempt at it. <laughs> so be, be nice, okay? I don't do hand painting. I mean, the most amount of hand painting I've ever done is draw a line with a brush or use a dotting tool to make some dots. That is my level of expertise when it comes to hand painting. And anybody that has been with me for the last year, yes, a whole year has gone by since I started this channel. Um, you will know that that is my level of ability. <laughs> so I was quite chuffed. Moving on, this is um, Flamingo from Glitter Stella. It's a super fine glitter that's kind of got um, like an ultraviolet hue to it. So you need it. I needed the colour in the background. And by putting this on top, it kind of changes the colour slightly as well, which is cool. When I top coat this, you will see how stunning this glitter is. It is so... It's one of those little sneaky glitters. You know, there are some that are really in your face and straight away you're going, yes, pow, look at you. But there's others that it depends for the light you see them in and they shift and then you start to see that really nice, um, I mean, they're nice anyway, but do you know what I mean? It's like a magical effect to them. And this one is very much the same. When this, when this gets top coated, um, you can just about see the flex of it in here, but as it shifts in the light, it's just beautiful. It looks like you've got little fireflies dancing on your finger. It's beautiful. So the pinky and <laughs> the pinky and the thumb. I'll tell you why I entertain myself more than you guys on these videos. You know, I properly have a good laugh. Uh, <laughs> this thumb. Oh, let's just get rid of a hair. That's the only thing with these practice fingers. They don't, they just attract them. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you wipe them down or whatever. They're just one stray hair floats across the, and it will just be sucked onto the hand. Anywho, so I'm just using that same glitter. Uh, I think it's called Flaming Flamingo, actually. Um, on the thumb. So I've just come in with a... Uh, Small wet bead, picked up a load of the glitter and then I'm just using a wet brush, just picking up some more glitter and plopping that in. Yes, technical term there, plopping. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to play with water decals. Why the hell I wasn't using my clear jelly stamp, I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know. And what's worse is the fact that I only videoed me doing this one. This one did not go very well. When I came to do the other one, which I wasn't recording, because I thought you don't need to see it twice, it went perfect. It's like, really? Really? Anywho, so there's my beautiful first flamingo, who shall be named Bertha. I don't know why. 
but I'm going to call her Bertha. And then the one on the other finger, shall we have Bert? And then we can have Bert and we can have Bertha. And the flamingo that's going on the other finger is pointing the opposite direction. So it looks like they're looking at each other. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? They're on a romantic date with a palm tree. Who is yet to arrive. Anywho, so I'm going to come along and I'm going to do... What am I doing? Oh, yes. No. Before we move on, so Trey sent me this awesome pink glitter. I've got no idea where it's from, um, any of that stuff. But I saw it and I went, ooh, it's this right kind of pink and it's got stars in it and it's just got wonderment and I like it. So it's going in. I love Trey's surprise glitters. So just to cover up where that line is, I'm just going to add some of that in just to take away the harshness of the line. I wasn't fussed about having the white background because it just brings a pop to it. And actually, by the time I come to cap these, because of the colour underneath, um, with the pink underneath, it softens that white and it does become more pinky looking. Mm. I know. Genius, isn't it? It occasionally happens. So, right. There you go. Bert and Bertha are now in. Everything is capped and ready. And we're going to move on to the hand painting. Now, I did... I am using... What am I doing? I am using... Black gel paint. And it is from Nail Me. That was it. I can't remember the name of it. I just suddenly just went boop. And I am using my Line It Fine uh, brush from CJP. And then I will swap two tiny touches. Because that was the mistake I made with the first one. Is I tried to use this big brush to do little leafy patterny things. And it, no. It, it did not work. It, it, it will take time for me to get the hang of it. I also started doing this um, and uh, I said to my husband and the kids, I was like, come and have a look at this. Come and have a look. What does that look like? He went, that's a palm tree. I was like, excellent, good. We're, we're off to a good start. I was like, there's something wrong with this palm tree. I can't work out what's, what's wrong with it. And um, he kindly pointed out that palm trees generally don't have three leaves and that I should add a fourth one. And he was absolutely spot on. Because the minute I added the fourth one, I was like, ah, <laughs> that's it. It's a palm tree. It's most definitely a palm tree. So, now I'm going to come in with the small little brush here. And I'm going to just pull the lines down. So using the paint that was already there, I was just doing some lines. That didn't work, so I came in with a separate brush now the other thing i did is on the first one i did the leaves both sides of the branch which you, you're gonna witness here in a minute and you see what it, it just it, it doesn't it doesn't look right yeah see what see what it, it just it no it just doesn't go according to plan so i did actually end up wiping this off and then trying to do this again and I don't think I wiped off it I think it was just that one that I wiped off because actually once I realized that just doing the downward bonds seemed to work quite well I was like okay well they look like palm tree leaves the there here we go wipe this one off which is great because you haven't cured it it's it's gel paint it doesn't dry until you put it in the lamp so you can go in and just rearrange stuff and touch it up and yeah, it was it was great. But yeah, I didn't record the first attempt because I didn't want to put I didn't want to put the pressure on me. And I knew damn well if I'd got that out of the bag on the first attempt, I would have died of shock. Um <laughs> So I kind of figured this was going to take a couple of tries. And you know me, if I mess up, if I make mistakes, I keep it in my videos because I want you to see what went wrong. 
how do you fix it? What do you do? Because so many videos don't show you when it goes wrong and how the hell do you fix it if it does? Which, if you are new, you need to know that. That's like the most important thing you need to know is not how to make it perfect first time, is if I mess up, how do I fix it? Because nobody is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. You can see what I mean now about three palm leaves. It, it just it doesn't look right. And I can't for the life of me at this point work out why it doesn't look right. So in a minute you'll see that I then I stop the video, I call the kids over and me husband and that's where it goes better. But I was really, really, I was really chuffed with this. I really was. I, is it perfect? No. But I don't care. I don't care. See, look, here we go. We now have four leaves and it looks like a palm tree. Ta-da! So now I'm going to go home in and I'm going to put the top coat over the top. And I'm really hoping you can see this glitter shimmer now. Because it, oh, it, it is, it's like little dancing fireflies in there. And it's just beautiful. I love it so much. Yeah, well, I've nearly run out of top coat. I've got some more on order for this stuff. Because uh, obviously it's just from my practice hand. I'm not going to use my £10 a bottle stuff. Anywho. So, that is the end of this design. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!